Hello everyone and welcome to another mini Sky Tonight. So I was asked by a viewer of what would be the best apps that they can use for their cell phones. Since often that they step outside and they have their cell phones and they don't know what constellation is up and sadly bringing a laptop or a computer out into the wilderness is a little tricky. They wanted to be able to use something that is handheld and to be able to point at the sky and show what's up in the sky. So rather than opening up Stellarium, I have presented to you a few options that are available on the Google App Store. And many of these work with all different types of um, platforms. I believe many of them are available for Android as well as Apple devices and, and many of them are free. However, they do have some versions of them that do require purchases, but I'll get into the nitty gritty as we go through this video. So the first app that I usually use and I recommend is called Starwalk. It is a wonderful night sky application that you could just use and you simply point it up with your cell phone once you set in the coordinates of where you're located and just simply using your phone and lifting it up, you can point it to whatever position in the sky and it can give you the constellations as well as deep sky objects as well as the moon. So this is a great tool for basic night sky viewing. However, keep in mind it does have a few ads. So it kind of is a little rampant with ads for the free version. But however, if you get the um, purchased version, which is only about a dollar, which I honestly think that's not too much, it has a wide variety of other options as well. It allows you to look at some of the details of some of the different objects you're seeing, as well as it gives you an astronomy calendar of what to be able to look for on certain dates and certain time, and a bunch of other features as well. It also allows you to be able to track like when the ISS is up right now, and, and including a bunch of other things that you can be able to use. They also come out with a version for kids as well. So you can have uh, a wonderful little tutorial about space and some of the things that you can do for the kids to be able to learn about astronomy and the planets and things. But like I said, keep in mind for all, like most free versions, they usually come with, um, comes with ads and, and offers in-app purchases. So it's something to keep in mind. The next app that I've been told is an incredibly useful app is called Sky Safari. It's basically a powerful little planetarium program in your pocket that you can easily use to look for different objects in the sky. Um, it allows you to be able to look at what some of the skies look like at different times, as well as ups, ups, as well as allows you to be able to update and zoom in on different objects and gives you an update version of like what satellites are up in the sky. Another app that I have used before is called Heavens Above, which is an incredibly useful tool for amateur astronomers and professional astronomers alike because it gives you a live sky chart plus nightly events. And the great thing about nightly events is it tells you where and when you can see certain satellites. Now, keep in mind that these often have to keep updating because with more and more satellites being launched, it's hard to keep track of them. So and including iridium flares, which is what I appreciate because often I get questions of, hey, I saw this really bright star that streaked across the sky and it wasn't a, um, a shooting star of some kind or a UFO, what could it have been? Chances are it's probably iridium flare, which is basically a satellite that has iridium in its solar panels and it just looks incredibly bright. Another app that I've been told is incredibly useful, I haven't personally used it, but I have been told by professional astronomers that they have used this with their telescope. So they're able to connect their cell phone with their telescope given uh, uh, go-to locations and everything, so it allows you to be able to guide a particular telescope. And it has a list of all the deep sky objects and things that you can use to be able to use for your telescope. Now, obviously the free version is not as much useful as the paid version, as I've been told. Another one is called Mobile Observatory. They have a free version, and I've used this before as well on my cell phone. And the great thing about it is, is that it allows you to be able to look at all different types of events that are going on, as well as 
um, tracks the ISS and the moon and several different objects and gives you tons of information on a daily basis of what to expect, as well as gives you um, information on how to put this, magnitudes and locations of different objects and where to find them and everything. Another one I've been told that is incredibly useful, and this one's a little bit of a paid version. It's called Skyview. I've been told that this one is the best one in terms of user-friendly applications, as well as um, being able to get support as you need it. The developers from Terminal 11 are really great at responding back if you have any questions or problems with your device. It also gives you constellations as well as objects that are up in the sky, including information. It helps you track the ISS. It also gives you a night vision mode. So that way, if you don't like to have to look at a bright screen and you want to be able to still see the screen, they have a night vision mode to where it makes this, the screen look red and yet you're able to still view. And also the great thing about Skyview is that it tra not only tracks the ISS, it informs you when it's up in the nighttime sky and where to look. So this is the best one that I I personally recommend is being able to use Skyview. And of course, I also have used Stellarium. It is literally the program that is on your computer, which is free, but now can be on your cell phone. It's a little bit of a purchase, but the reason being is because it to go from a computer platform to a cell phone platform is an incredibly difficult job. So they often have to be able to outsource some of their uh, resources to be able to go from a computer to a cell phone. But it's basically the same type of program that you use for your computer on the cell phone. It also gives you all the different um, locations as well as helps you to spot planets, as well as the International Space Station. It also shows you constellations not only through the Greek and Romans, but also from different cultures as well. So that I honestly personally enjoy just to look at some of the things that have how other people see things. And you can zoom in on planets and nebulas as well as and get access detailed images of the entire night sky, which is incredibly useful. So these are just a few of the apps. There's obviously tons more out there. If you just want to be able to track the International Space Station, they have the ISS tracker. If you want just beautiful images, as well as um, information about space, NASA has their app, which is completely free. But these are the ones that I find useful to be able to just simply point up at the night sky and look to find constellations and planets and things. And of course, if you have any questions, you're always welcome to give me a shout out as well as contact us at the SCOBY Education Center if you have any questions. So these are some of the apps that I recommend. If you have any other questions or any topics that you would like to have covered over for a, a Sky Tonight presentation, leave it down in the comments below. Or if you'd like to ask a question about anything that you've seen up in the sky, don't hesitate to leave that in the comments as well. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, never stop learning.